Hi, I'm Aaron Merch from 2H Media. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create amazing product stories in Shopify's online store 2.0. To proceed, you're going to need to have a basic understanding of meta fields as well as the Shopify customizer. So if any of that sounds intimidating, check out some of our other videos before diving into this one. From the product page, if I scroll down to meta fields and click view all, you'll see that I've preemptively created several meta fields which we're going to use throughout this video. Check the video description for a complete list of meta fields and a brief explanation of what's going on with each of them. With that out of the way, let's head to online store, customize and get started. From the customizer, click the drop down at the top of the screen and select product, create template. When the modal appears, enter a name for your new template and click create template. In this case, we're calling our template product with story. When the product page loads in, make sure you're previewing a product that actually has some meta field values. To change which product is being used for the preview, click change in the upper left hand corner of the screen. After clicking change, select the desired product from the menu on the right hand side of the screen. With the correct product selected, we can get to work building our product story. On the left hand side of the screen, click add section and select image banner. Once the image banner loads in, click the dynamic source icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. A list of available meta fields will appear on the right hand side of the screen. In this case, we've labeled all of our meta fields based on how they're going to be used in the product story. Since this is the first image in the product story, we're going to select feature one image. After selecting the desired meta field, click connect in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. For the purpose of this example, we're going to leave most of the image banner settings alone. Select your image banner's heading on the left hand side of the screen and once again click the dynamic content icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. Once again, our clearly labeled meta fields make it easy for us to link the desired data. In this case, we're going to click feature one title and select insert. Make sure to clear the unwanted placeholder text from your title and let's move on to the description. Click your image banner's text block on the left hand side of the screen. In the top right hand corner of the screen, highlight the placeholder text and then click the dynamic content icon. In this example, we're selecting the feature one description meta field. We aren't planning on using dynamic content for the image banners buttons. So in this case, we're just going to select that block from the left hand menu and then remove it in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. With our image banner complete, we can move on to the next section of the product story. So click add section on the left hand side of the screen and select image with text. On the top right hand corner of the screen, once again, click our dynamic content icon. We're into our second product feature. So in this case, the meta field we want is feature two image. Select the desired meta field and click connect in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Leave the image with text settings alone and move on to the heading block. Once again, highlight the placeholder content and replace it with your desired meta field. Repeat this process for the text block and once again, remove the button. Let's add another image with text section and link some more dynamic content. Under the image with text settings on the right hand side of the screen, make sure to adjust the desktop layout so that this section alternates with the previous section. With our first three sections set up and using dynamic content, our product story is really starting to come together. The image banner section acts almost like a hero image, creating a clear break between the standard Shopify content and our unique product story. The two image with text sections provide a lot more detailed information and are a great way to go into product features in more detail. Now let's really take this product story to the next level by adding a collage section. Click add section on the left hand side of the screen and select collage. Enter a title for your collage section and then move on to the video block. If you look at the settings on the right hand side of the screen, you'll notice that we aren't able to select a dynamic source for the video URL. If you want to display different videos on each of your product stories, the way you can get around this is by creating unique page templates for each of your products. In this case, we only want to use one template for our product stories though, so we're just going to use the same video for each of our products. Select a cover image or link a dynamic image, and then paste in whatever video URL you would like to use. When you're happy with the video block settings, click the product block on the left hand side of the screen. In this example, we're going to click the dynamic content icon to link a meta field. By using a related product meta field, we can display a different product in this block for each product on our store. After linking your related product meta field, click the collection block on the left hand side of the screen. 
Then click the Select Collection button in the top right hand corner of the screen. Once again, you'll notice that we're not able to use a dynamic source for this block, so this is going to be the same link on every product page unless you use separate templates. In this example, we're just going to have this block point to the top seller's collection. Now that we've finished filling in the content of our collage block, let's take a look at how the product page is appearing as a whole. Our product story is pretty dynamic and displays a decent amount of information. I think the last thing I'd like to do though is change where the related products are displayed. By default, the product recommendations are displayed between the product page content and our custom product story. In order to make our page flow better as a whole, let's move the product recommendations below the product story. To do so, click the product recommendations block in the left-hand navigation and drag it to the very bottom of this menu. Our product page with custom story is looking great and it didn't require any custom code or additional apps. But we're not quite done getting it set up to appear in the front of our online store. So let's click the save button and head back to the Shopify dashboard. From the Shopify dashboard, click products and navigate to any product for which you filled out the required meta fields. From the product page, locate the online store section on the bottom right hand side of the screen. Then click the drop down under theme template and select the template we created at the start of this video. With the correct template selected, click the save button that appears at the top of the screen. To verify that everything is working correctly, click the preview button at the top of the screen to see how this product page looks on the front end of Shopify. If you followed along with this entire video, congratulations. You should now know how to create dynamic product stories using nothing but meta fields and the Shopify customizer.